music because of Rogan's misinformation. Well, our Nick Mantis joins us now with a look at sports. And Nick, the Michigan State men's basketball team didn't get off to a great start on the road today. Yes, Sarah, it wasn't looking pretty for the guys in green and white. Turnovers continue to be the problem. We'll fill you in, fill you in on how this one went final. Plus, the Michigan Wolverines were also on the road today. Could the Wolverines pull off an upset over Purdue? Well, we're going to tell you when we come back. This is 6 News Now, here for you 24 hours a day, online at WLNS.com. The Michigan Supreme Court denies a motion from black lawmakers who were challenging congressional maps created from the state's Independent Citizens Redistricting Committee. They claim the maps dilute the black vote in southeast Michigan and say there are now a lot fewer seats that represent black communities. In a 4-3 to three ruling, the court says the lawsuit did not prove how the maps actually violated federal law. The old maps had 15 majority black districts, and under the new maps, there are only seven. Now, despite this lawsuit being dismissed, the redistricting committee still faces two other lawsuits, and this includes one from state Republicans. 6 News will keep you updated. From Storm Tracker 6, this is Weather on the Sixes, sponsored by Auto Owners Insurance. Simple human sense. Well, the road conditions have improved greatly in the main arteries. It's mainly the rural areas where we're still seeing difficult to impassable travel conditions, especially in the areas the plows haven't quite gotten to yet. Here's a look at our Skyview network, the WNS cam. Our big story in Lansing is just the cold weather. We're at five degrees, feels like one, and that's actually one of the warmer readings we've gotten this morning. We're at 3 degrees in St. John's. Uh, wind is calm at the current time, but you see icy roads and two tracks on the roadways in Jackson uh, where they got additional snow yesterday. And they're at 3 degrees and it feels like negative 6. As we look at satellite radar this morning, you see we have mostly clear skies. The cloud cover is pulled out of here and the snow has moved out of here. Our second system this week is now uh, pushing up the East Coast as a result. Great Lakes are quiet for now. We already see our next clipper system on the way, an area of very light snow expected later on tonight. Not going to be significant by any stretch. Weather alerts remain in effect off of the south winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, ice storm warnings. Moral of the story, if for some reason you're heading south of the state line today, maybe wait until early afternoon. Fort Wayne received about eight inches of snow yesterday, so it's going to take some time for the plows to clear the uh, roadways. But the good news is the freeways should be the top priority. That means that the back roads have not been the priority, and that's why we have so many school closings this morning. Uh, across much of mid-Michigan. The one exception is here in the Lansing area, where as of 645, DeWitt, Lansing, Holt, East Lansing, Hazlitt, Okemos, and Williamston are open. But you see all around them, all these rural districts have called off classes for the third day in a row, giving them a five-day weekend. This is the Six Sports Desk. It's not always easy going on the road. Everyone knows that. But in the Big Ten Conference, that feeling is magnified. The Michigan State men's basketball team is 4-1 on the road against Big Ten opponents. But they surely didn't look like it against Rutgers this afternoon. Out to Jersey Mike's Arena in Piscataway, New Jersey. Tom Izzo checking his notes before tick off. A weird start to this one as the Scarlet Knights try to drive in early as Paul McCauley can't get it to fall. Rebound Clifford Amore. Little give and go and no one guarded Amore as he slams it home to get the crowd going. Now, Rutgers defense was huge in the first half. A.J. Hogard has to just throw up a shot before the shot clock expires. Fast break going the other way. Geo Baker with a bullet pass to Dean Reber for the easy bucket. But just before the half, the Spartans climbing back into this game thanks to Gabe Brown with a huge three to make it a three-point game at the break. Brown finished with a career-high six threes and a game-high 20 points. But too many turnovers turned into touchdowns for Rutgers as Julius Marble misses the dunk. The Scarlet Knights take it advantage. Good ball movement working around and finding their shooters like Dean Reaper as Rutgers pulls off the upset beating MSU 84 to 63. The Michigan men's basketball team also on the road this afternoon looking for a huge win for the program. The Wolverines taking on the fourth ranked Purdue Boilermakers in Mackey Arena. Always a tough place to play while also having some momentum coming off a win over Nebraska at home. So what could they do in foreign territory? Well, early it wasn't stopping Purdue's big man, Zach Eady, the 7'4", he doesn't really have to jump that high. 
Purdue going with dunking in the game plan today as Jaden Ivey gets the seal and slams it home with authority. Purdue lead, largest lead got up to 12, but the Wolverines were fought, fighting back, finding their big man Hunter Dickinson from the outside, dropping three of his game high, 28 points. But in the second half, Eric Hunter Jr. just drops it off for Edie for another slam as the Boilermakers defend their house, 82 to 76, the final. In women's hoops, Michigan State has been putting together some big conference wins over the last few weeks. But on Thursday night, the Spartans hosted the 17th ranked Maryland Terrapins and were only a couple baskets away from pulling off a huge upset and winning their fifth straight conference game. Now, throughout all of the injuries and ups and downs the Spartans have been through this season, there's not a lot of people who would have predicted seeing them just being three and a half games back for being on top of the Big Ten standings. Susie Merchant and her squad have already traveled to Minnesota for their showdown with the Gophers tomorrow afternoon. But after the loss to Maryland, she shared how proud she's been of the resilient nature of her team. It's just kind of fun to, to see them just never give up and just keep fighting and battling against a team like that. I thought our grit and toughness has gotten better defensively, so that was a positive. They only had 10 fast break points, and that's a team that can score a lot in transition. But I'm proud of them. They're battling. They're fighting. You know, they haven't had it easy with all the challenges, but they're really working, and they're a good group of kids. In high school hoops, there was a tournament this afternoon taking place in Grand Rapids at Cornerstone University. And one of the hottest teams from our area, Williamston, was putting its undefeated record to the test against the talent from the west side of the state. Out to GR we go. The Hornets got off to an early lead over Grand Rapids Union thanks to big defensive plays like this one from Mason Dox. Picks the pocket of a Red Hawk, and he's going the rest of the way. Willie leads 11-4. to four. But Union found it confidence in the hands of Brian Parks, who gets a tough shot to fall before halftime, cutting Williamson's lead to seven. But Willie had had all of the answers in the second half. Jay Wallace, he's too nice with it to get in the floater to fall. As the Williamson Hornets stay undefeated, they go on to win it 63-48, to the final. Now to the ice. The Michigan State hockey team got off to a great start against the eighth-ranked Minnesota Gophers last night, taking a 2-0 lead to the end of the first period. Only problem was that they had to play two more periods, and Minnesota scored four goals to win it 4-2. to two. Right now, they're playing game two of the weekend series, so let's check in on the score. Things are tied 1-1 one to one in the second period. We'll have full highlights of this game tonight on 6 News at 11. We'll be right back with a final look at your forecast, so stay with us. This is 6 News Now, here for you 24 hours a day, online at WLNS.com. The Michigan Supreme Court